Hey there everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be decorating for fall and this is actually a part two of a part one and two fall decorate with me. In my previous video, I did my living room, our porch area and our dining space. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to watch that one. But today we're going to be doing my entryway, guest bath and kitchen. So I'm going to break down my styling process step by step for you all and give you some fun decorating ideas and styling tips along the way. And again, my approach to seasonal decorating is just to keep things really earthy and natural natural for a more elevated feel. So I'll show you all how I do that. It should be a really fun video and without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first spot that I wanted to tackle was this little alcove area in our entryway since this is the first spot that you see when you enter the home. And majority of this space is just used for traffic flow, but I did manage to squeeze in a piece of statement art and a little pedestal here for visual interest. And because this is all there is decor wise in this area, I figured that swapping out the artwork would really make a big difference. So several years ago, we went on a couple's trip with my best friend and her husband to Jackson Hole and Yellowstone. And of course, we stopped to take our tourist state sign picture. Picture, but when we were taking the picture, I couldn't help but notice how stunning the scenery was. The layers of alpine trees were so beautiful and they were framed by all of this ground foliage that was turning orange and red. So I snapped this picture and it actually ended up being one of my favorites from the entire trip. So I got it printed out from an online site that I really like, which I will link below. And just a tip to keep things on the more budget friendly side when it comes to prints is I just order the poster print, which is basically just paper, but it's a lot cheaper, especially when you're ordering a larger size and you can't even tell a difference when it's in the frame. So when swapping out my seasonal artwork, I've learned to just store the prints in the actual frame so it's nice and protected. And then when the seasons change, all I have to do is take the frame down and swap out the photo. And for such minimal effort, I feel like this really helps to inject that feeling of autumn into this space. I just love all of the earthy fall colors in this print and how it helps to bring that feeling of outdoors indoors. So next, I wanted to add some statement stems to this textured base. And in this spot, I wanted the eye to be drawn more to the photograph. So I just picked these really subtle tan colored stems that I found at Hobby Lobby a while back. And I like that they don't compete with the photo. So it just gives off a really warm fall like feel, but it allows the artwork to do the talking and be the main focal point. I also love the texture on this face, which I will link below for you all. But fall is just such a great time to layer textures because it really does help to make a space feel more cozy and warm. So next I wanted to decorate this little drop zone area right next to our front door. And I recently got this cabinet at Home Goods, and I am so excited to style it for the first time this year. But first I know we typically put wreaths on the front of our doors or like the outside of our doors, but I always try to make sure that I have one on the inside as well, because I think it really helps to add to the ambiance, especially in our bright white space, hanging this wreath on the back of the door just helps to warm it up a little bit and add some subtle color. So next, it's time to style this little cabinet and because this space is very white I wanted to add a little punch of warmth so I used this super pretty distressed urn I like the warm earthy tones of it and this finally restocked so I will link it as well but something that I've been doing lately is just saving my pasta sauce jars and then I use them inside of the vase just to help give my stems some structure and to put in it I've picked out these gorgeous stems that I've talked about many times on my channel and I decided to use these specifically because I like the little punch of color that they give and the rust tones reminded me a lot of the tones in the photograph so I thought it would help tie all of that together. And like I said earlier, I really wanted to warm this space up. So I picked out this cognac colored pumpkin with a subtle texture that's perfect for layering. And you all know that I like to try to style in groups of three. So to finish it all off, I bought this really cute faux antique gold pumpkin to pop in there as well. And I just love the color combo of this grouping and how it really does help to add some cozy autumn warmth to this entry area. So another thing that I love to use in fall decorating are books and they help to give off that homey feel and they're also just great to visually use as risers so you can add some height to your styling and here I wanted a practical little drop zone for our keys so we don't misplace them so I just used this little distressed terracotta bowl and it helps to round out this table styling while also serving a practical purpose as well 
So next I wanted to decorate our long entry bench that I found at a local antique shop. And typically I keep the pillows out year round and then I change up the styling on the other side of the bench to match the seasons. So here again, I just wanted to add some warmth to this white space. So I used an antique vessel and some of these red maple stems that helped to give a punch of color to this area. I love the distressed wood and all of the texture and warmth that it adds. And it also brings in those earthy brown tones to the space, which I love. And I also really like that the red leaves relate back to the other red foliage that we have going on in the space So it looks cohesive and I really wanted this section of the bench to feel layered So I added another stack of books for some visual interest and to act as a little riser for this faux heirloom pumpkin And when styling two pumpkins together a little tip is just to make sure that their stems are pointing in different directions And this helps it to feel more organic and pleasing to the eye Okay, so now that we've sprinkled those autumn accents throughout most of the entryway, there is one more small space I wanted to style here. And if you remember in one of my home decor hauls, I showed you this little travertine console that I got at Home Goods. So I wanted to give it a really simple look. So again, I made a little book riser and I added this rustic handled vase on top of it that I found at Hobby Lobby. And then I used three of these stunning fall floral stems. I love these. They look like they are straight out of a painting and I I love the mauve coloring on them and it's just nice to switch things up and have some autumn florals in the mix instead of all autumn leaves. I love the twiggy movement that these give to this arrangement and they're super affordable so I'll be sure to link them below as well but I just wanted to solidify that fall theme in the styling so I'm gonna pop this accent pumpkin that I found at an antique shop right next to the vase. And that's it, super simple styling that gives off a rustic autumn feel. So next, our guest bath is in our entryway and this is the bathroom that everyone uses when they come over. So I like to give it some autumn touches as well. And again, one of the ways I love to do that is by swapping out my artwork to match the season. And if you remember last year, I gave you all a tutorial on how to print out a digital download and give it a coat of Mod Podge to make it look like a real vintage painting. So I just reuse that piece to help work those red tones into this space. I also have this frame on our shelves that I wanted to swap out. And last year I took this picture when I was walking our dog and I used an app called Waterlog to turn it into a watercolor painting. And I got both versions printed because I wasn't sure which one I was going to use, but I decided on the more abstract watercolor version and I just love the subtle hint of fall that this gives to our space. So next it was time to style our countertop area. And because this space is very bright and kind of cold with all of the marble, I wanted to warm it up with some textures. So I chose this brown textured vase that I previously DIY'd in my rustic vessels video. And then to put in it, I chose this dried statise. And I love how this gives off that earthy, rustic gathered feel. And because these are real dried stems, they help to give an elevated look to the room. And if you all remember from my fall decor haul, I found this adorable acorn Q-tip jar at TJ Maxx. So I thought it would be perfect to style next to the vase. And you all know I have to make this a group of three. So I used this little pumpkin candle from Target. And I like how all of the earthy brown tones contrast against each other, but they also look cohesive. And then next to tie in that earthy taupe color to the space even more, I use this brown leaf hand towel that I found at Home Goods. And I like how this just has a subtle pattern on it and the brown color helps to warm up the space a bit and next I wanted to style this little soap tray so obviously I swapped out our hand soap for a seasonal one and I just like to try to find soaps that have that almost apothecary like label on them this just gives off an elevated feel and you can find them for like five dollars at TJ Maxx and another styling tip I have for you all is just to pick a little leaf or two from your seasonal stems and then sprinkle those throughout your styling this is so easy to do and it is so such a small detail, but it makes a huge difference to the overall look and feel of the space. So next, I just wanted to finish off the styling on our shelf. So I popped a little leftover bunch of the dried statise into this small bud vase. And this just helps the space to feel gathered. Like I just picked these from a field somewhere and I'm bringing the outdoors in. And if you all remember, I put some potpourri in this glass pumpkin in one of my previous videos. And I thought it'd be perfect to just pop next to the artwork for that subtle rustic autumn feel. And then one last thing I wanted to do to warm this space up was pop in this little rustic stool. And I take this out when we have guests, but I like to leave it here to add some rustic warmth most of the time. And to pop on top of it, I 
have this aged iron bowl and again I picked off a little branch from some of my fall florals and then I laid it in the bowl and then I stacked some pine cone bowl filler on top of it and I love the natural texture that the pine cones add and honestly I can just keep this out all throughout the winter time as well and just swap out the foliage so I love how this looks coming from our entryway the florals tie in with the color scheme and it's just nice to have a cozy feeling to the guest bath space so next I wanted to add a few autumn touches to the kitchen area and if you remember from my home goods video I scored this rustic olive jar for $30 and it's one of my absolute favorite statement pieces so I like to have it out front and center on our kitchen island it's also perfect for fall because it has that warm aged texture to it and I love the rusty orange color of it and then I added these beach stems that I found on Etsy last year sadly they did not bring them back this year but when searching out stems I try to find ones that look like they've just been cut off of a tree somewhere and brought inside to help give off that elevated designer feel. So then to complete my group of three, I just used this larger pumpkin candle from Target and then this pitcher that I used to fill our dog's water bowl. And it's a great way to layer in aesthetic pieces while also serving a practical purpose as well. And then I usually like to stick to those apothecary-like labels when it comes to soap dispensers, but I showed you all this stunning glass tortoiseshell pumpkin dispenser in a previous video. Video, and I just love the unique look of it. And if you're on a budget or you're just trying to make small changes for the season, I feel like some of the best ones you can make are with the things that you actually use every day, like soap or soap dispensers, because they're gentle reminders of the season that you actually get to interact with. So next, I wanted to style our backsplash area. And if you all remember, I found these faux artichoke stems at At Home. They were pretty decently priced at $5 a stem. So I just popped three of them in this hanging basket with a little fern in the back for some added greenery and movement and this just helps to add some subtle color and texture to the backsplash area and make it feel a little bit more designer and styled. So if you all remember last year I found this super cute pumpkin dutch oven at TJ Maxx and I love to use this when entertaining during the fall season and it's just such a fun seasonal piece to cook in and because I love the look of it so much I keep it out on my cooktop as decor all season long. It just helps to bring a subtle touch of autumn to the space and give off that cozy feel. And then lastly, I have this little practical area of things that I use every day in the kitchen, but I always like to dress it up with some sort of floral or greenery arrangement to soften it a bit. And this is just a small brown accent vase with dried florals from Hobby Lobby. So again, it's a great way to bring in that gathered rustic feel to the space and helping to add a little touch of the outdoors to our countertop. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help to support the channel. And be sure you're subscribed if you're not already because obviously there's a ton more seasonal and holiday content coming your way. So be sure you don't miss any more of that. And I just wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you in my next one. Bye.